Hello there. All right. I got this in the mail. I'm super excited. This is uh, Red Dawn on 4K. That. So excited. Okay. Can I open it up? Try not to ruin it. to see it. Now this just barely came out today. The movie? Well the movie came out in 1984. Uh, but the 4K disc came out today. Oh. So awesome slipcover. Same art underneath. There we go. Very cool. Describes what a shout select is, that's cool. And inside we have a the re we have the remastered Blu-ray and the remastered 4K. So I'm really curious to see how uh, the DVD compares to the Blu-ray compares to the remastered Blu-ray compares to the 4K. So anyway, there you have it. There is the uh, the unboxing. So I am ridiculously excited for this. And for you fans of the channel, you'll notice that this is one of the movies that I wanted to have a 4K release this year. So uh, that prediction video, or not prediction video, but most wanted video is uh, becoming more and more true throughout the year. Said you'd be calm. Okay, so yeah, just wanted to unbox it real quick and also show you my mustache. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to attempt to do a car review of Red Dawn from 1984 on 4K Blu-ray. All right, so Red Dawn on 4K. Uh, let me just say, <clears throat> I grew up watching this movie on VHS a whole bunch of times, probably when I was should not have seen it, but this movie had a huge effect on me when I was younger. Um, I was blown away by it first PG-13 movie because Temple of Doom came out and it was rated PG so then Red Dawn came out as PG-13 and it definitely earns that um, has so many squibs I love squibs that's my favorite movie effect ever is the little blood shooting out when they get shot I love that it's my favorite special effect so 4k Red Dawn it looks so good it blew me away I was almost in awe at every single shot in the entire movie. Just the the colors, the vibrant colors, especially the fire. Every time there was fire, it looked so amazing and bright and detailed. Uh, the red rock detail, oh my gosh, this was such an improvement over every other version. So good, it looked so good. I was blown away by how good it looked. Uh, this is a 100% worth the upgrade to 4K. It's kind of an expensive one because it's a shout and select, uh, but oh my gosh, it looks so good. Uh, yeah, the, the blood, all the colors, the nature colors, um, the, the sound was great too, especially I thought the bass was an upgrade over last time I heard it. Um, speaking of detail, uh, during the tank battle, when the, spoiler alert, when the colonel dies, and then the US tank shoots the Russian tank and it explodes. So we actually watched it frame by frame on that part and you can see the Colonel's body burst into flames. <clears throat> it's crazy, I've never noticed that before. Uh, man, the movie is such a bold movie to release, well, to re-release right now. I don't really need to expand on why on that. Um, but I just think it's such a genius movie, like when uh, Jed's looking at the photo of him and Maddie when they were little, just after they killed Daryl. So and he's like crying with, with his little snot bubble. And uh, it's just like a moment of like realizing that they're not those kids anymore and that kind of their innocence is gone. Um, so yeah, it is just a big, loud, dumb action movie, but at the same time it has a lot of heart to it. 
Um, and like the part when their dad says, he's like, remember when I used to push you guys on the swings? And, uh, and then at the end of the movie, him and Maddie end up right there by the swings. Oh my gosh. So good. So powerful. Every single time. I love it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the music by Basil Polidorus is so amazing. Uh, like I, my favorite is when they're riding the horses, when the hind helicopters are coming and it's like, dun, 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 dun. I don't know if that sounded like it, but that's how it sounds in my head. Um, and I'll just walk around the house being like, anyway, so good. Love it. So good. Uh, what else? Oh, I have a, I think the movie's just super motivating. It just motivates me. Makes me, uh, makes me want to fight against people that are bad. Uh, my friend that I was watching it with said uh, it makes him want to be better. And uh, I, I agree with that. It's a good movie. Uh, I think the movie's a pretty strong case uh, for the Second Amendment. Just going to leave that right there. Um, I just, I love how raw and real the movie is. All the real effects. And I just, I was talking to my friend while we were watching it. I just can't believe, like, there's no other movie like Red Dawn. Nothing. Like, no, it's it's just such a ballsy movie for so many reasons. Um, oh, what else? Give me one second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to not die on the road here. Oh, uh, so all the special features that got carried over, um, there's one from an older DVD version that I have that's a, it's a carnage counter. Uh, that didn't get carried over. That's where it counts all the civilian and enemy and wolverine deaths on the bottom of the screen <laughs> during the movie uh so that didn't get carried over uh so that, that's fine um but i i just could not believe how good it looked i love this movie um one thing i want to say is the like the hind the hind helicopters when when they're attacking them in the desert i just was thinking like i love the movie top gun maverick that came out this year but the, the impact and the scariness of the hind scene in Red Dawn versus the hind scene in Maverick, it just it just uh, felt a little more fake in Maverick, even though it was made just barely. So I don't know if that was a real helicopter in Maverick or what, but uh, in Red Dawn it feels very real and very threatening. So I just wanted to make that comparison. I love Top Gun Maverick though. Anyway, I don't have much else to say other than that I love this movie. This is an amazing upgrade to 4K. Uh, the grain, the grain structure was intact uh, and moving the whole time. The colors were incredibly vibrant, but not overblown. The skin tones looked amazing. The fire and explosions, the base, uh, the uh, yeah, I couldn't detect any flaws whatsoever in the transfer. Oh my goodness, I just I cannot say how beautiful this movie is on 4K just looks so good. I love it. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the car review portion. So hope you enjoy. All right. Bye.